Hey, you know who's up in North Idaho? How about the North American Weather Modification Company? We have to go over why the climate is so messed up and what they won't talk about. This article came out back in February 20th of this year. The growing industry of cloud seeding. You know, we're always told we're conspiracy theorists. We're always told that it's not happening. Your local meteorologists lie. You know, when they call for filtered sun, you know, or some kind of term like that, that's code word for spraying the skies, cloud seeding, fake clouds, synthetic skies, cloud brightening, albedo modification, SRMs, you know, whatever you want to call it. But what it is, is filtered sun, but it's filtered sun by man. So there's a industry growing in the controversy that has powerful potential for environmental health and public well-being worldwide. This is the industry of cloud seeding, making it rain where it normally does not or at a time when it normally would not. Although humans have been affecting weather patterns for millennia with the way we've cut down forest and with uncontrolled growth of cities, this is the first time we know that an actual industry has developed to change the weather directly. Cloud seeding is widespread and growing with some 150 ongoing projects counted worldwide in 2012, according to the government of Australia, unregulated, the industry could be inadvertently or deliberately destructive, but some dangers have been experienced and the government and international agencies are watching carefully. Some restrictive legislation has already been passed. They act like this stuff hasn't been going on, like they're just now doing it. Well, I'm gonna show you documentation tonight a secret file from the CIA. All right, so let's get out of that. And the reason why I want to show this, you know, climate change is a lie. The climate is always changing, but the thing they're not telling you is why we're seeing rain bombs, like double, triple the amounts of rain every time it rains, snow bombs every time it snows, hurricanes that they can park, why the sky is more electrified. Well, there's several reasons why. Here's one of them right here, the North American Weather Modification Council. For the purpose is weather modification practice. Well, of course it is. Cloud seeding, can all clouds be effective, blah, blah, blah. So this is just one company. I'm just gonna show you a few companies. All these links are in the description. Now here is a PDF in the description from Washington, D.C. Controller General of the United States this is your response to your request of September 22nd, 1971 for certain background information on cloud seeding activities carried out in the United States under programs supported by the federal agencies. To the specific question contained in your request, we directed our review toward developing information on cloud seeding programs supported by the federal agencies on the cost and purpose of such programs on the impact of cloud seeding on precipitation, severe storms, and the types of chemicals used for seeding and their effect on the environment. We also obtained data concerning the extent of cloud seeding conducted over Pennsylvania. This 1972 document, they go over the budget, how much they spent, the Interior of Commerce National Science Foundation from 1968 to 1970, around 16,921 bucks. Remember, this is 1972. They did precipitation modification, fog and cloud modification, hell suppression, lightning modification, and hurricane modification. In 1968 through 1972, do you think they're not doing it now? I just showed you a document the other day Back in 1973, they said they could change the climate in days. Anyway, guys, much love. We're going to play a song called Rise. We're going to need to rise soon, sooner than later. Then I'll play a couple other songs. I'll jump over on the D Live giveaway, the treasure chest, and then I'll come join you in chat. Here we go. Crank it up. Much love, guys. <laughs> 